here in Texas is the Crown Act, and you were crucial in getting that on the books here as a law. If someone felt like they were being discriminated in the Hispanic culture because of the Edgar haircut, would the Crown Act protect them? Absolutely not. <laughs> it, it, don't, it wouldn't protect them because it only protects natural hairstyles, locks, braids, twists. Uh, so no, it would protect the person. I do believe a person should have the right to wear it, uh, but but they would not be protected from the Crown Act. They would not be covered under state law. So when I'm dead, I will judge you from beyond the grave. In fact, who knows when you're watching this? I probably already am dead, and I can't believe you just did that, you stupid son of a. Do I like physical media? Duh. I don't know where it is, but somewhere I have a picture of me and this uh, woman that you're about to see in this next video clip. If I had the picture now, that would make great. We could make a whole little video segment about this story. But I, I don't know where the picture is. It's in, it's in some box somewhere. But anyway, I'm in a picture with this woman. Bridget the Midget went before a judge this afternoon. She's accused of stabbing her boyfriend in the leg at their home near Decatur and Sahara back in September. Bridget, whose real name is Cheryl Murphy, faces 15 years in prison if convicted. A judge ordered her to be back in court December 15th. 